Hello everyone. This video is all about clarifying some common misconceptions about centric relation. But before proceeding further, you should be well equipped with some basic knowledge about centric relation. So you must check out my previous two videos where I have talked in detail about the concept of centric relation and the logic behind the relationship between centric relation and tooth interference. So yeah, let's get started with the clarification of uh, these misconceptions about centric relation. Misconception number one. So there is this uh, common misconception that uh, the concept of centric relation which of course forms an integral part of uh, occlusal principles is only required for the treatment of uh, temporomandibular joint disorder patients. Now this is absolutely wrong. But the truth is that a precise knowledge about the concept of centric relation and other occlusal principles is very important which we just cannot avoid thinking that we have to bother about these principles only for uh, the temporomandibular joint disorder patients. No, that's not right. Uh, in fact, the concept has to be applied in our day-to-day -day practice if we want to make our uh, the dental restorations to last longer and to make our treatment successful. Misconception number two is thinking that centric relation and centric occlusion is same by confusing the centric relation with the centric occlusion. No, the centric relation should not be confused with the centric occlusion. As centric relation actually refers to the fully seated condylar position regardless of how the teeth fit in. Next misconception is that the centric relation is all about how the teeth fit in, which is absolutely wrong. Actually, centric relation is not about teeth. It is about the position of the condyles, which in turn determines the relationship of uh, mandible to maxilla. Even when no teeth are present, the edentulous mandible is still in CR. That means even when there are no teeth present in patient's mouth, the edentulous mandible can still be in centric relation if the condyle disc assembly is completely seated. So centric relation is not about teeth, it is about the position of condyles. Next misconception is that centric relation is used just because it is repeatable. No, that's not the only reason. Centric relation is not a mere convenience position which is used because it is repeatable. But in fact, it is the universally accepted jaw position because it is a physiologically and biomechanically correct position. And in fact, the centric relation is the only jaw position that permits an interference-free occlusion. Next misconception is all about underestimating the importance of articulated casts in centric relation, particularly for treatment planning of the patients requiring an increase or decrease in vertical dimension. Now this point is really important from a clinical point of view and the importance of articulated casts in CR should never be underestimated. Because a bite record which is made at any point of opening of uh, the correct centric relation arc is still in centric relation. Hence if the casts are mounted on an articulator in centric relation, the vertical dimension can be increased or decreased of course within limits without introducing any error. So yeah that's it for today. I hope this video clarified most of your uh, misconceptions about centric relation and this will definitely help you apply your knowledge in your clinical practice and yeah do subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and if you like this video because a lot of informative uh, videos are on way for you so stay tuned for that and thanks for watching
to hit that like button make it blue from black and share this video with your friends and spread the knowledge make sure that you are subscribed to this channel dentistified if you haven't already and hit that notification bell which is next to the subscribe button so that you will get notified each time i upload a new video so i'll see you super soon in my next video till then take care